Hey guys, welcome to this week's live session. Uh, Facebook didn't work that well with us this week, so we did the Instagram live session first. Uh, had a great session, a lot of um, people joining in, and I'm so happy to see the live sessions grow and grow and grow and more people interacting. And that way we're changing um, South Africa and we're changing entrepreneurship. So super happy about that. But cool guys, so um, this week we're talking about being proactive. So how, um, why should you be proactive and what is proactiveness and why is it important for entrepreneurs to be proactive? Um, but before we talk about that, so what's going on with Millionaire? We have a lot of things in the pipeline. We also have a special running this month, um, which is a um, Millionaire in the Making mug uh, with a signed copy of How to Become a Millionaire 22. And uh, that's available for 195 bucks. You can check it out on my website or on my social media platforms. Cool. Uh, so we always have a lot of people on Instagram. So I can't remember everyone's name that joined in, but there was a lot of people. So thank you everyone for joining in the live session at 3 every Tuesday on Instagram. On Facebook, I hope you guys enjoyed today, today's session. We're talking a bit about proactiveness. So what is proactiveness? Um, when I do business consulting or when I talk to entrepreneurs, I hear this a lot when they tell me, Albert, yes, I'm just waiting for the economy to get better. I'm just waiting for that client to respond on their emails that I sent them out. I'm just waiting for the market to respond to the ads that I've sent out. I'm just waiting, you know, for this, or I just need this funding before I can start. I just need um, this new equipment before I can do this. I just need this to happen before I can do this. And that's, I feel, excuses that people are putting into place. Hey, Sheldon, thanks for joining in on the live session on Facebook as well. Um, so that's, that's excuses that people are putting in place to say, look, I'm waiting for this to happen before I can do this. And as entrepreneurs, it's really crucial that we need to focus on being proactive. Because as entrepreneurs, we create value, we create sales, we create the market, and we create the products. So we can't wait for the clients to respond. We can't wait for the economy to get better. We can't wait um, for the, the market to respond to our services. We need to go out and create that. So whenever you, you, you feel like you are you don't have something to do or you're feeling like you're stuck, think about being proactive and think about how I can solve this problem instead of saying I can't or it's not possible now or I'm waiting for something. So the first thing I want you to check is your language. So whenever you say, look, I'm waiting for this to happen before I can do this. So whenever you hear the words from your mouth saying, I'm waiting for something or this needs to happen before I can do this, then that's a sign of you not being proactive and being dependent on someone else or something else in order for you to, to create success for yourself. So you always need to be proactive and create success yourself. The market's not going to wait for you. Time is not going to wait for you. And you need to go out and grab success for yourself. So guys, that's what I want to talk about today. That's what I want to bring over today being proactive, going out there and creating your own future. So um, on the group, the, the gentle giant asked um, how to become a millionaire. And I told them that there's a lot of aspects to becoming a millionaire. Um, you need to read the book. I wrote a book on how to become a millionaire 22. And a lot of the concepts and key ingredients um, is in the book. Alex, thanks for joining in on the live session. I uh, hope Facebook is running smoothly in, instead of Instagram. Um, so yes, uh, there's a lot of concepts in there, but the basic four step, if I can break it down into four steps, the basic first step is you need to get your mindset right. You need to think differently. You need to think like a, a millionaire. You need to have a millionaire mindset and you need to you know, see the world differently. The second step is you need goals. You need a direction where you're going towards. Um, you need to have set um, targets that you're aiming for. An archer can never um, shoot the target if there is no target. An archer without a target will always miss. And then the third step is you need to actually put in the work 
take the action, actually implement. So that works in terms of your time management, your impl you know, your your project management, getting things done, waking up early, actually working and putting in the work. And then finally, you need to understand the correct um, financial concepts. So you need to understand finances, you need to understand how money works, and you need to understand how wealth works. So that's the four things you need to you need to you need to get your mindset right. You need to have your direction. You need to implement and take action, and then you need to understand how finance works. But that's in short. So for more information, check out my website. Check out uh, my social media platforms to help you in that that direction. I have a lot of videos and content that I put out about these topics that can really help you guys on that journey. But okay, guys. So the main topic today was being proactive. If you've just tuned in or missed it, you can check in the stories. You can check the live feed from the start and see what we talked about. Also, check the Instagram live feed. Uh, there was a bit of interaction with a lot of people that joined and we answered some questions. But um, yes, guys, be proactive. Don't let the world happen to you. Go out and happen to the world. Okay, make a change and take it into your own hands. It's very, very important that we take responsibility for where we are. We are where we are because of our own decisions and because of our own actions. And we need to take responsibility for that. And it's very, very difficult for people to sometimes do that um, because they feel that the environment and that their surroundings and that other people had a big impact in their life and affected them negatively. But you can always have the choice for yourself to act, to, to, to decide how you act upon that and what you do to change that and what you do to counter attack that or to counter that and to be, to change the negative into a positive and to change being dependent into being proactive and going out and making a difference and taking your success into your own hands and creating your own success. So guys, I hope you liked today's session. It's a short one, but if you have any questions throughout the week, send them in the direct messaging and we will catch them and answer them live on Tuesday at 3. So every Tuesday we're live at 3. If you have any questions, send them in and we can talk about them on the live channel and we can discuss um, everything um, concerning entrepreneurship, um, business and your side hustle. Cool guys, have a